In this video, we will show you how to file a cannabis tax return. We protect all the confidential information you provide to us. First, go to the website cdtfa.ca.gov and at the top click on Login. That will take you to the CDTFA's online services login page. You must log in with a username and password. For assistance with creating a username and password, please watch our tutorials online. On the CDTFA online services login page, we will enter our username and password. Then click login. On the online services profile page, under the accounts tab, we will click on the cannabis tax hyperlink. This will take us to the cannabis tax account page. If you have not submitted your Bureau of Cannabis Control license number for each site location, you can provide it by following the instructions on the banner message or through filing your return. Once you provide the BCC number, the banner message will disappear. We will show you how to provide the BCC number through filing your return. Under the Periods tab, click on the File Return hyperlink next to the return period for which you would like to file. In our example, we will file the fourth quarter 2020 return, which is displayed by its return end date of December 31st, 2020. This brings us to the first page. What are you reporting? The CDTFA administers two cannabis taxes on the sale of cannabis and cannabis products, the cannabis excise tax and the cultivation tax. As a cannabis distributor or microbusiness acting as a distributor, you are responsible for collecting both the excise and cultivation taxes, filing the cannabis tax return, and paying the amounts collected by the due date. Answer yes or no to the questions. In this example, we will answer yes to reporting excise tax on cannabis, cultivation tax on cannabis flowers, leaves, and fresh cannabis plants, and reporting cannabis that entered the commercial market prior to January 1, 2020. If you have zero to report on any of the questions, select no. If you choose, you can save your work at any time by clicking the Save Draft button. Enter your password to save, then click OK. You will then be directed to a confirmation page. Now that you've saved your draft, let's go back to filing your return. Click the Continue Editing button. Now we are back to your return. After selecting yes or no to the questions, Click Next to continue filing. On the Excise Tax on Cannabis page, report the total average market price on sales and transfers of cannabis. The system will automatically apply the excise tax due. If you have any excess excise tax collected from retailers, you can report that here. In addition, you will be able to take a credit for any excess excise tax remitted to the CDTFA and later return to a retailer. This will reduce the total cannabis excise tax due. In this example, we have $5,000 for the total average market price on the sales of cannabis. We do not have any excess excise tax collected or remitted and later returned to report. We will click the Next button to continue. On the Cultivation Tax on Cannabis Flowers page, report the total dry weight ounces of cannabis flowers that entered the commercial market. You will report the ounces that are sold or transferred by a cultivator on and after January 1st of the current year here. You will report the ounces that are sold or transferred by a cultivator prior to January 1st of the current year here. The system will automatically apply the cultivation tax rate on the flowers. In our example, we have 200 ounces of cannabis flowers that entered the commercial market on and after January 1st, 2020. We have 100 ounces of cannabis flowers that entered the commercial market prior to January 1, 2020. After entering your figures, click the Next button to continue. On the Cultivation Tax on Cannabis Leaves page, report the total dry weight ounces of cannabis leaves that entered the commercial market. You will report the ounces that are sold or transferred by a cultivator on and after January 1st of the current year here. You will report the ounces that are sold or transferred by a cultivator prior to January 1st of the current year here. The system will automatically apply the cultivation tax rate on the leaves. In our example, we have 300 ounces of cannabis leaves that entered the commercial market on and after January 1st, 2020. We have 200 ounces of cannabis leaves that entered the commercial market prior to January 1st, 2020. After entering your figures, click the Next button to continue. 
On the Cultivation Tax on Fresh Cannabis Plants page, report the ounces of fresh cannabis plants that entered the commercial market. Remember, to qualify for the fresh cannabis plant category, the cannabis plant must be weighed within two hours of harvesting and without any artificial drying or other form of drying or curing. You will report the ounces that are sold or transferred by a cultivator on and after January 1st of the current year here. You will report the ounces that are sold or transferred by a cultivator prior to January 1st of the current year here. The system will automatically apply the cultivation tax rate on the fresh cannabis plants. In our example, we have 400 ounces of fresh cannabis plants that entered the commercial market on and after January 1st, 2020. We have 300 ounces of fresh cannabis plants that entered the commercial market prior to January 1st, 2020. After entering your figures, click the Next button to continue. Review the summary page. If you need to make an adjustment, click Previous. To print a draft of your return prior to submission, click on the Save Draft button below. If the information displayed on the page is correct, click Next. This brings us to the Bureau of Cannabis Control License Number page. You will need to enter your BCC license number for each site location. This page will not appear again once you provide a BCC license number. After entering all your BCC license numbers, click the Next button to continue. On the Your Information page, review the pre-filled information and make changes if necessary. In this example, we are not a paid preparer and will select No. When all required fields are completed, click Submit. When you click Submit, a window will appear to confirm your intent to file electronically and that your return is true, correct, and complete. Please read this information carefully. Enter your password and click OK to submit. This will serve as your authorization and confirmation. You will not receive a confirmation email. This confirmation page represents a return filing only. Please take note of your confirmation number and the total amount due. We recommend that you print this page for future reference. To make an electronic payment, click on the Make a Payment button. To make a cash payment, click on the Print a Payment Voucher button. To print your submitted return, click on the Print Return button. You can also share your feedback by clicking on the Online Services Survey button. Your opinion counts. If you still have questions, please call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115. California Relay Service at 711.